Now, you must think and act. Why do I keep saying this? Because as you think like that person, you make decisions from the person you wanna be. Burn that in your consciousness. Imprint it in your consciousness. What did we say yesterday? We have to constantly edit and upgrade our image. Well, how do we do it? We continue making decisions at a 1% rate of increase. We get out of our comfort zone. We say, listen, if, if this guy Arash can do it, I definitely can do it. You know, this guy was struggling and it was so obvious that he was struggling. And if he can do it, I absolutely can. And I tell you, it's gonna take an, an impeccable attitude, acting on ideas, making definite irrevocable decisions, altering your identity, disciplining yourself and thinking and acting from that person. And listen, you don't need to discipline your activities. That will happen automatically. We discipline our thinking. We say yes or no to anything that is not in harmony. We say yes to everything's in harmony. If something is not in harmony with the person I wanna become, with the goal that I want, I say no to. And that's how we develop a significant, absolutely amazing standard of ourselves. Now, this is a brain tattoo that whenever we talk about decision, it's from W. Clement Stone. You do it now. I want you to really hear me. Do it now. Make this your brain tattoo. W. Clement Stone was one of the most successful people in the world. He brought himself from failure to success and he became partners with Napoleon Hill. They wrote a great book called Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. Well, anyway, he, his motto was do it now, do it now, do it now. My motto is always say yes and say no if it doesn't feel right after you say yes. You know, do it now. Whatever you do, seize that moment. Seize that opportunity. Do not hesitate. Anytime you hesitate, you're opening the space because your paradigm comes in with, with a couple seconds. So you don't want to hesitate. Just ask yourself, if I do X, what will it do? Will it take me closer to where I want to go, further than where I want to go, or further backwards? and really make this part of you. Take action. Without action, your idea stays stillborn. You know, I remember, you know, Bob and I, he called me one day. This was about, I don't know now, probably 10 years ago. Maybe it was eight years ago. Anyway, he said, I want you to teach this to everybody you can. And I said, sure, what is it? He said, people come to me all over the world and I'll be speaking at seminars. I'll do it online coaching. And he said, I'd always, they always say, can you help me create a life of freedom? Can you help me create my ideal business? Can you help me create my dream home? And he always said, I always told him I absolutely can, but there's a prerequisite. He said, you have to act on a decision within 30 seconds. He said, if you don't, you don't deserve to win. He said, anytime you don't act on a decision within 30 seconds, you let your idea stay stillborn and you tell the universe to keep you stuck in reverse. He said, Arash, all these people will look at me so funny. They think I'm trying to sell them. He said, I can't help them until I sell them. And I'm not trying to sell them, I'm telling them how the laws of the universe work. Until you act on ideas, the ideas are gonna be stillborn. So if you look at the people who win, they act on ideas right away, right away. When I started winning, I started choosing in when I wasn't even ready. And that has been a part of my new image. And it's been part of my image for several years. But that is what I do. And that is where I'm going. So that is what will take you to act on ideas within a few seconds. Do the end of Bob's last few years when he told me, forget about the 30 seconds. You know when something is right because it resonates with the essence of who you are. One idea changed my life. <laughs> you know, I, I laugh at this because if I would have known how simple success was, I swear to God, I would have done it a long time ago. I made it so complicated. And complexity is the enemy of success. Simplicity is success's best friend. Success is just doing a few things. We've only talked about a few, few main parts of your character that you have to develop from paradigms to goals, to being a goal achiever, to attitude, to discipline and self image. But one idea changed my life and this idea on decision making absolutely changed my life because I can't imagine you gotta understand, I was 150,000 in debt, about to get married, and then I had to invest thousands of dollars to get mentored, and I said yes. It made no sense logically. 
But that idea of acting on that decision, I don't know where I would be today. And then it was the idea that changed my life on serving, on using this to help more thousands and thousands of people. And then I found my purpose. All these one ideas changed my life. Now this is, this is so important to understand. And decisions or lack of them are responsible for making or breaking everything you desire in your life. People who have become very proficient in making decisions without being influenced by the opinion of others are the same people whose annual income falls into the top income category. I want you, I'm speaking directly to you. Are you one of the few or are you one of the masses who let other people's opinions influence your decision making? Or do you know yourself so well that say, no, I am making a decision because this is where I'm going. And this is very important to understand. I'm going to say it one more time. Decisions or lack of them are responsible for making or breaking everything you desire in your life. People who have become very proficient at making decisions without being influenced by the opinion of others are the same people whose annual income falls in the top income category. Now I want you to own this big money. I want you to have so much money in your life because that tells me how much you're enriching other people. I want so much good. And if you're rejecting this, that's your paradigm. That is your attitude towards money. Money is not good or bad. Money is a report card to the good that you're doing in the marketplace. The more money you have, that means the more good you've done and there's so much more good you're gonna be able to do. Big money is your birthright. I said on day one that freedom is your birthright. Well, money is your birthright and go do so much good with it. Go change so many people's lives. Go change millions of people's lives and putting so much good out there. What did we say? To create wealth, we said this yesterday, to create wealth you need to know two things. Where I am, where I'm going, and get to work. What is wealth? Wealth is a reflection of your character. It's a reflection of your thinking. Think and act like that person. Develop the attitude and go enrich millions of people's lives. Now, if we're gonna create the big money, we really wanna understand this law. The law of compensation clearly states the amount of money you earn will always be an exact ratio to the need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there will be in replacing you. I want you to really see this. The amount of money you're earning right now is a direct reflection of the service you're rendering in the marketplace right now. That's what the marketplace is telling you that your value is. Now, focus on your ability to do it. Become a master at what you do. Spend 10,000 hours, spend 100,000 hours mastering your craft. Every day, keep mastering your presentations. Keep mastering your, your skill at whatever you're doing. Your ability to do it is going to make you the outlier and it's going to get you into the seven, eight, nine, ten figure incomes. Become a master at what you do. Napoleon Hill said this, and I was saying it with Mikey earlier, he said, analysis of several, several hundred people who had accumulated fortunes well beyond the million dollar mark disclosed the fact that every one of them had the habit of reaching decisions promptly and of changing these decisions slowly if and when they were changed. People who fail to accumulate money without exception have the habit of reaching decisions, if at all, very slowly and of changing this, these decisions quickly and often. What did we say? If you're planning to plan, I'm gonna sleep on it. What is this? Very slowly and then changing these quickly. Really choose in. Do not allow the paradigm to make the decision. Let your desire make your decision. Is my desire driving my decision? If the answer is no, I promise you, your paradigm is. And you wanna become illogical. Illogical is the prequel to creating a massive quantum leap. Logic creates doubt. Logic creates overthinking. And I know my analytics out there, I'm telling you just for the moment, study decision making, let this idea change your life and put your analytical mind in your pocket just for a minute, just for the next hour, you know, just for the next opportunity to act on decisions, you're gonna see how much it'll, it'll absolutely create massive jumps in your results. Now, when I talk about one idea, I remember when 
I had been getting coached by Bob and he said, you need to get in this industry. He said, this industry changed my life. He said, Arash, this idea has used me. I was telling you earlier, I had all these one ideas have used me. Well, me getting in this, studying it so closely where other people can understand, where I can explain it to others, changed my life. And this is what I'm gonna do the rest of my life. I'm gonna keep passing it forward just like Bob did with me and did with millions of people.